Cain and Abel, the first recorded murder in history. This is a story shrouded in mystery, and the argument preceding the murder is one of its most mysterious moments. Suddenly without any explanation, Cain and Abel are in the field when everything happens, and without any warning, we find out that Abel has been murdered. We will try to discover Abel's last words, and what led Cain to kill his brother today. Let's begin. It was Cain and Abel who were the first brothers to exist on earth. Expelled from Eden, God sent Adam and Eve to work the land. After losing everything, they did what most families do, they started over. As a result, they formed a family. Three sons were born after the exile, Cain was the eldest. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain she said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. Genesis 4 verse 1 The birth of Eve's firstborn son caused her to be proud of her creative power, and she compared herself to God, he was the one who created people, and I gave birth to the world's first baby in partnership with him. In Eve's self-importance, I created a new person like God, and therefore God created Cain along with her. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. Genesis 4 verse 2 She was no longer so proud of her second son Abel, other than the fact that he was Cain's brother. The name of Abel is not interpreted because Adam and Eve did not bother to give him a meaningful name, leaving him without a patron to take care of his fate. It is possible that jealousy and murder were caused by an imbalance between the two sons. The first child she created made her proud of being a creator, while the second expressed a lack of hope for the future. The name, Cain, represents pride and a possessive attitude. His materialistic viewpoint led him to become a tiller of the soil, since soil is eternal. As for Abel, he was not educated in property and was content with his flock, which is not eternal. Offered to God by Abel and Cain, accepting Abel's offering and rejecting Cain's offering. In the course of time Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Genesis 4 verses 3-5 the word very emphasizes his reaction, which is complemented by the external description, and his face was downcast, expressing the anger and insult Cain feels. Cain got more upset because his offering got rejected. He was the one who started the whole offering and even inspired his brother to do so. There is a gap in the story in which God does not explain why Abel's offering was accepted while Cain's offering was rejected. Why God said no to Cain and yes to Abel is a significant matter. The writer might have skipped explaining it on purpose, making it seem like God just decided randomly. When someone decides without a clear reason, it can make the person feel rejected even more mad and frustrated. God talks to Cain, and he understands that Cain is suffering. But now God presents Cain's situation once again, this time from God's perspective. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Genesis 4 verse 6 Despite rejecting Cain's offering, God did not reject Cain. Then the writer continues and tells us that Cain meets Abel in the field and murders him without any warning. Right before Cain murders Abel in the field, the verse tells about a conversation between Cain and Abel. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. 
Genesis 4 verse 8. However, the verse chooses to skip ahead to the tragic conclusion of the story. This indicates that the murder was preceded by an argument between the brothers, and it was this argument that led to the murder. What was the conversation they had during that meeting? As commentators analyzed these verses, they encountered difficulty understanding the events described. In the beginning of the Bible, the birth of the brothers is described as a happy and idyllic event. It wasn't until the two decided to make an offering to God that things began to change. The verse suggests that Cain's offering was not sincere and not made out of a sincere desire to please God. As a result of God's rejection of Cain's offering, Cain's anger arose, and God addressed his anger and disappointment, asking him to restrain his anger. If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door, it desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Genesis 4 verse 7 Afterward, the Bible tells about the murder. There seems to be a gap in the verse describing what happened before the murder. No detail is provided regarding Cain's words or Abel's response. What did Cain say to Abel that led him to rise against his brother and murder him? As they met in the field, did Cain plan to kill his brother, and did he even know what he was doing? It is clear that, and Cain said to his brother Abel, does not begin a sentence that must be completed, but describes a conversation that developed between them, probably due to Cain's jealousy and anger. According to some commentators, after all, Cain was the first murderer, and there was no history for it before him. Perhaps on purpose, the biblical author refrains from detailing what they discussed, as if to teach the readers that it doesn't matter regarding the murder described later. Murder cannot be justified based on what happened before. Commentators attempted to reconstruct what the brothers discussed before the murder and fill in the gap in the biblical story. Consequently, they attempted to answer the general question, what causes people to kill one another? There is a question about human nature here. Therefore, there are three possibilities for why Cain murdered his brother and what they discussed. Just before we continue, if you like our content, please subscribe to follow us. The first option is, fight over control and capital. This option is closest to the simplicity of the verses, which describe the tension between the brothers because of their different occupations, Abel was a shepherd and Cain was a farmer. Their discussions are about the division of the world. Two brothers, as the only ones in the world, decided to divide their father's inheritance between them. The lands will be taken by Cain, and everything that is not attached to the land will be taken by Abel. Their conflict could have been resolved if they had understood and worked together. A quarrel broke out because neither party had a common language, which might have been indicated by the lack of details about the content of the conversations between them. In this case, all the things Cain owns or wears belong to Abel, and he must return them to him. Cain does not remain in debt. Whenever Cain owns the land, he prohibits Abel from going on it. There is no doubt that both requirements are unrealistic, and in fact, the very division of the world in this manner is illogical, and therefore destined to fail. In the case of Cain and Abel, the only solution to such a situation appears to be violent, which includes murder and the taking of another's property. Commentators describe the absurdity and madness of property struggles that drive every quarrel and war. The second option is, a religious dispute. Both received land and property as part of their agreed-upon division of the world. As the temple is located in a particularly spiritual area, it is assumed that the quarrel was over whose land would host it in the future. There may be religious ideological motives involved, but honor and status appear to be important motives also. 
This is a very different interpretation from the traditional interpretation of the verses, which is that Cain and Abel may be arguing about an event thousands of years away. According to the interpretation, there are always will be those who kill and destroy in the name of religious fervor in every generation. By pointing to the first murder in history, they chose to point to the origins of religious conflict. And thus, perhaps, to emphasize that even a debate on a value issue may result in violence if it is allegedly motivated by holiness. Final option, a romantic fight. Another reason for violence between people is a disagreement over a woman. Cain and Abel are the only two in the world, but here the interpretation provides information that isn't in the verse at all, a twin was born with Abel. Cain was the firstborn, followed by Abel and another daughter whose name is unknown, from whom the world is supposed to continue. There was a debate over who would take the only woman in the world. It is a debate about the very existence of humanity. As mentioned, the main difference between the verses is the content of what was said between the brothers before the murder. There are quarrels, violent crimes, and wars throughout the world mainly due to property disputes, quarrels over relationships, and various religious wars. As it was from the beginning of history, and as it is today. This commentary concludes that the story of Genesis contains a warning for future generations. We hope you learned something new today. If you did, give this video a like and share it with your friends. You can share with us what you know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining content. Thank you so much and see you next time.